What is up guys? You want to play Rise of Kingdoms on PC because you have a killer computer and you want to reduce that lag that you're experiencing on the phone? This is the best way to do it. I'm going to show you the settings that I am using while I'm, you know, recording most of the time. I'm using BlueStacks. Um, if you also want to download BlueStacks, there's going to be a link on the description. So make sure to click that one so you can directly download Rise of Kingdoms on BlueStacks and start playing this game on your computer. Now, I do get some benefit when you download it through my link. So I do appreciate it if you do because I'm helping you out here. And maybe you can return the favor for clicking that link and download BlueStacks. Um one thing that i want to share to you guys is my settings so let's go on to the desktop settings in here all right so here's my blue stacks settings let's take a look let's drop everything down in here if you guys know what to do with these icons leave a comment in the comment section below i for some reason i restarted my computer reformat the, the os and something like that i'm not very expert on this one but now my icons are like showing x so I am like super duper confused. So after you have downloaded BlueStacks on the link of this video, right? When you first download BlueStacks, the first thing that you're going to be seeing is that you're going to see the game controls. You're going to see all these in here, right? Um, this is actually very, very helpful. As you can see, if I click space bar, I would get out of the city. And if I click space bar, I will be going into the city and I can click tab. And then I will have all the, um, uh, what is this thing called? All the navigation in here. Now. Um, this is very useful if you actually memorize all these things and how to do them so I can click C to claim all um, But if you don't like this if you're not really, you know into the sequence of key binds I would say key binds I think that's a correct word. You can just you know take that off especially if you are doing a streaming uh, Like what I do uh, the viewers most likely don't want to see all of that um, cluster in there um, another feature that they have done is this cursor to unlock so as you can see with my cursor right now I can move around and go into my desktop but if I do a locking on the cursor um, right here now if I want to move around I just need to drag my cursor on the edges of the game and I can just slowly move wherever I want to be uh, then I can press escape so I can remove that and um, if you want to do a zoom in or zoom out what you need to press is press control and then you have to use your scroll on your mouse and then you can zoom in and zoom out depending on what type of uh it depends on if you are zooming in to scroll down or scroll up so another thing that you can do to scroll within the rise of kingdoms you can push your uh, up arrow or you can do the down arrow to zoom in and zoom out so if you have farm accounts and you want to play them on blue stacks and have multi-instance uh, what you need to do is click this three dots in here open up the multi-instance right here and then you can start running another uh blue stacks in here so as you can see we will now have two blue stacks opened and if you have another gmail account log in, in that one and then start playing with another rise of kingdoms and it could be your farm account and then you can start uh, definitely grinding a lot of resources for that but for me i don't really do this one because when i first started the game i didn't know about this one and it could really help you out in the long term uh, most of my accounts are in the same uh, one gmail so if you have multiple gmails you can open up the multi-instance and you can start playing with multiple accounts in rise of kingdoms by using blue stacks now if you want to take a screenshot of your account or your game right now so you can do a, take a screenshot and if you want to check out the folder there is a folder icon in here click that folder icon and then you can see the screenshot that you just took now to share the picture that's still something that i am confused because i still don't know how to do things in here it's still black and if i click into the folders icon here it's not working so if somebody knows how to do it let me know in the comment section below even for the camera it's not really working when you get into this place once you get into this page um don't just x out your you know your game you can click this back icon it will send you back to the game now um there is also a utc time conversion and uh, so if you have some special event that is happening within the game you can definitely select which date select what time and you can either convert it and it, you can start to create a reminder and it will remind you through your email so this is my email if i set a reminder it would give me a reminder on my email so with my settings in here my display as you can see i'm using landscape mode 2560 times 1440 
320 DPI. So for my engine settings in here, I have the OpenGL. So you might be wondering what's the difference between DirectX and OpenGL. So I looked it up and basically in short, OpenGL is faster than DirectX. Uh, as for why OpenGL is faster than DirectX is the simple answer is that OpenGL seems to have a smoother and more efficient uh, pipeline. So I'm going to be selecting the OpenGL because we want a faster and smoother gaming with Rise of Kingdoms. So I'm um, going to advance and you can pick what type of phone that you are using uh, as a BlueStacks as an emulator. For me, I'm just using the Galaxy S10. I'm just picking the, you know, the newest one to render the game much better. Um, of course, there are shortcut keys, there's information. So you can click the show guide in here. Uh, there's a question mark icon, tells you everything that you need to do. Tells you every key bind that you just have seen earlier. It's pretty much the same. Um, so for me, I really don't use this one. I treat this like a, a phone where I just have to click onto the screen and you know get what i need to do to get it done all right so with that being said hopefully i was able to help you guys out in here with blue stacks if you guys were confused on some of the things in here and how you guys can um, optimize your gaming through blue stack so don't forget to download blue stacks on my link on the description click that start playing blue stacks now all right so i have my video right here don't forget to go down into the description click show more and you will have all the links in here. Go down here at the very bottom. Click download Rise of Kingdoms via Bluestacks on PC. Now, if you're from Japan, then you want to click the Japan version one. But as you click that one there, it will direct you to a download page. And you can click download Rise of Kingdoms on PC.